Okay, here we are back at the house. We have our dyers woad in our container. You'll notice there's quite a bit of weeds and dirt and other material in there. So I'm gonna go through all of this, pick it apart, and we should have leaves in just a few minutes. Oh my. So you see here on this, uh, it has quite a sturdy tap root that digs very deep into the soil. So it uh, can get as much water as possible. So one thing that I said earlier, that this was an invasive plant, um, that means it's not native here and it thrives. And what it does is it chokes out a lot of the native species around here. So that's a big problem and you see that it's pretty well adapted to our soil and our dry conditions here in Utah. Oh, and look, we got a little friend who showed up. Glad we didn't get stung today. Okay, so I have cleaned all of the leaves off, uh, got out all of the weeds and dead parts, and I put them all in a bucket. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this bucket, I'm just gonna pour it in the sink, Okay, there we go. Then I'm gonna fill up the sink with water and I'm going to rinse them off. So now the sink full of cooled water and I'm rinsing off all of the leaves just to get as much dirt off of them as possible. And I'm gonna take my pot, I'm gonna fill it with hot water and then take it over to the stove, turn on the heat. And then I'm going to boil the water, boil the water, and then I'll take the leaves here and I'll crush them up and put them into the bucket. Okay, so I've rinsed off all of the leaves. This is what's left over in the sink. Crushed all the leaves up. Now our water is boiling. It's time to pour it in to the bucket. Okay, so I've poured the boiling water into the bucket. I'll come over here, grab the spoon, push it down in there. Grab the lid, and then we're just going to let it sit for a half hour. We can time that as well. And when that goes off, we will strain out the leaves. All right, so all the leaves have been steeping in our bucket, as you can see. Take a look. Right, it's been a half hour. So now it's time to strain off the leaves. So the best thing to do, use a strainer, and it's still pretty hot. Let's put the lid on. Squeeze as much liquid out as we can on this. This is the liquid that we want. When we're all done straining out, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. take the leaves and dispose of them. 
So I'm just gonna continue to do this, straining of the leaves, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, I'm back. As you can see, come take a look. All right, all the leaves are gone out of the liquid. So I'm gonna pour this into the pot once again. All right, so there's still some leaves at the bottom. And if you look real closely, you can see these little dots. That's the blue dye. You can already see it forming around the edges. So I'm just gonna go ahead and strain these leaves out as well. And then we'll move on to the next stage. So I've put all the liquid back in the bucket and here's what we're gonna do. Take our teaspoon and we want washing soda. So we want about two teaspoons of washing soda. And then we need to add oxygen. So the best way to do this is I have this handy immersion blender and that will put some air in We're starting to see the blue pigment come out of the solution. So I'm just gonna continue to do this and I'll show you the final result. So after aerating our steeped leaves, all I simply did was pull out some mason jars or any other container, preferably a glass container that you have lying around, as many as you can, and then just start filling them up. 